Okay guys, we're at Panurang Golf Course and this is how to break 90. Now I'm going to play with a mixture of left-handed clubs and right-handed clubs, but nothing will be going over 150 yards. Just to show you that the system works. If you work on your short game and you can get the ball up to the green or on the green in one over regulation, you can break 90. I'll mainly chip right-handed to show you the effectiveness of good chipping. Missed it a bit short, but remember, the key is to get the ball onto the green. Now this is a brand new club. It's the Cleveland S Wedge. I'm trying it out. Got to undo the grip. Never hit it before. So let's see how that goes. They're supposed to be very easy to hit because of the thick sole. Now remember, objective number one is just get it on the green. I want to land this somewhere on the front and just get it anywhere on the green. We need a putt for par. That was very easy to hit. Okay. Continuing with the theme of only hitting 150 yards, I'm going to hit the 8 iron off this tee. It's a, it's a 360 yard hole. So we get it up there 150, another one 120, and then we'll hit it in with a, with a wedge. We only need to hit this thing in three shots and two putt for a bogey. That shot only went 140 yards, so now we've still got 200 to the green. I'm going to hit two 54 degree wedges, just get it on or around the green in three shots. Right behind the tree. Okay, <laughs> I've screwed myself badly here. I'm now behind the tree. Maybe something you can relate to when you lay up on this system. But no, don't fear, we can go right. Um, it's a bit below the green down there and there's a bunker in the way. So for me, that's a bit high stress. Lower stress for me, maybe through the tree here with a lower, chi with a lower chip, but I'll have a flatter chip coming onto the green. I won't be coming from below the green, which, which takes away some of your spin and the ball bounds on. So I'm gonna go left on this one. Okay. Okay, we're a bit short of the green now, hitting our fourth shot. Remember, the most important thing is to get it on the green. Initially, you'll start hitting it quite far from the pin, but as you practice, that concept of just getting it on the green will slowly turn into the concept of get it as close to the hole as possible. It's all a process, but you start with just worrying about getting it on the green. I'm gonna play the Cleveland C chipper, borrowed from my friend Tia. There's a little upslope in front of the green. I'm gonna try land it on that or just short of that. Again, we're trying to hit it in three. I'm going to be playing left-handed off the tee on this one, just to spice it up a little bit. I don't want to keep hitting perfect eight irons down the middle, because then I know what the comments will be. Oh yeah! I've totally missed the correct place to be on the dog leg. I should be further further to the right but it doesn't make a difference because it's still a long shot so I've measured to the 100 yard marker down there which is about 101 yards to get there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a 54 degree and try and get myself another 100 yard shot into the green okay the cat the caddy freaked me out a little bit she told me the water was 70 yards away so I've just chipped that Either way, we're going to have a very comfortable shot into the green. 110 yards left, that's a very comfortable 54 degree for me. For you, it might be something different. And for you, you want to lay up to a distance that's comfortable for you. You don't need to necessarily split it into two equal shots. Just get the ball to the third shot approach area at the distance that's comfortable for you. So it could be your wedge, it could be your seven iron. 
It can be anything. For me, it's a 54 or 50 degree. And missed the green completely. <laughs> the greens are tiny, so I've just missed the green. I mean, it's only like 20 feet to the hole, but I've missed the green. Now, we have a very short chip, a little finesse chip, that you have to go about two and a half yards onto the green, and then about four and a half yards to the hole. So it's quite tricky. Now, I'm hitting off of elephant grass, which is quite difficult. It's, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's not very wispy. It's very, it's very thick and catches your club. So I'm gonna use the, the bigger sole sand wedge instead of the sea wedge. The sea wedge would be nice normally on a, onto grass that would be a bit finer. That, that elephant grass in the fringe, I'm not sure how it'll react. So I wanna land this on the green, just on the front with a chip. Oh, nearly. Now I'm playing this round with hard golf balls. The previous one was half yellow, half blue. I couldn't find it when I was looking for it in the rough. So I'm gonna to change to the Volvic Vivid. These are all very firm golf balls. Just to show you that the Pro V1, the Callaway Chrome Soft are great balls if you have the control and ability to use them around the green. But if you don't and you're scared of losing them because they're expensive, just use cheaper, harder balls until you get more confident and you're able to hit a ball without worrying about how much money you're losing in the water or in the bush. It's so freeing. Just like this shot now, it's 206 yards to the end of this dog leg with water on the right. I'm only gonna hit an eight iron. So that's probably gonna go about 150 to 160 yards. Just hit the most reliable club when you're standing on the tee so that you're not worried about hitting it in the water and losing another golf ball. Easy. Tee, sun. So this hole is actually 426 yards, so it's pretty long. We're gonna have to see how we're gonna approach the next two shots to set ourselves up a nice approach shot. Okay. Okay, Ken. 242 yards left. The caddy tells me it's about 110 yards to the water. So I'm gonna hit another sand wedge, 54 degree. It should go about 100 yards, maybe a bit less if I just take some power off of it. That will leave me with about a 130 to 140 yard shot into the green. Now for me, that's a very comfortable nine or pitching wedge. So it should be pretty good. Okay, that's gonna be a long approach in, but we do what we can. Honestly, sometimes we're trying to improve at golf. Every round we're trying to improve at golf, but sometimes you just gotta stop just look at that scenery, not bad. 129 yards left, that's a pitching wedge for me. We've got a bunker on the left and a bunker way right, so there's not too much trouble. The pin is on the front, I'm going to be aiming for the middle of the green, get on in three, and just two putt for the bogey on a 430 yard hole, not bad. about 315 so we're gonna try get this one in two hundred and thirty five yards left and there's no real danger here except perhaps on the left hand side it looks like it it falls away into some small hills but on the right hand side you have quite a bit of space to chip from. So I'm going to aim this about, about six yards, five yards right of the pin. And if it draws in, that's great. And if it doesn't, I've just got an easy putt or an easy chip shot on flat ground. Now, when I line the ball up, I like to look at something in front of the ball. So for example, on this shot, I'm gonna line it up to this leaf over here so that I get the ball started on the right direction so that it gives me more confidence when I'm, when I'm actually standing over the ball, knowing my club face is aligned to where I want to go. It's so shitty standing over a ball, not knowing where you're lined up to. Take this out of the equation to make your life even more stress-free. Oi! Oi! 
You see, on the left hand side of this pin, you have the bunker, which I couldn't see, but I, I suspected it was there because of the weird drop off. And then you have a slight uphill onto the green, which I mean, if you're hitting it from 135 and you're running a seven or eight iron up there, guys, it's not a problem. As long as you're keeping it just on the right hand side here, so that if it doesn't quite reach, at least you have a flat chip and you're not coming down from below the green over here, which is a very challenging shot. If you're over there, you've got the whole green to work with. You can chip it on the front, roll it up to the hole and pause your way. This has not gone very far at all. I've missed the fairway because I haven't even reached the fairway. So the end of the fairway down there is about 205 yards. So I'm going to hit the eight iron again, get it up to the corner of the dog leg so I can see the hole and we'll set up our third shot so we have a great fourth shot into the hole. Now this is super important. It's about 240 to the pin and about 110 to 115 yards to the water. To carry the water, it's about 170 yards. Now, if that's at your top range of distance, in terms of clearing the, the water, you know, actual carry distance, I would suggest laying it up. If you're very comfortable hitting a 180 to 190 yard shot to guarantee clear the water, then go for it. But if you're not confident and you're worried about clearing it at 170, the best thing is to just lay up instead of dumping one in the water, dropping one and hitting another shot. I mean, yeah, it doesn't feel very manly, but a six is better than a seven or an eight. Who's that? Oh, my. 116 yards left. Now, it's very easy for me to hit a 54 degree, but now I'm going to try hit a knockdown wedge, which I'm not very good at, just to show you the benefits of aiming correctly. So the pin is on the middle of the green, but we have a bunker to the right. Yes, it's very short of the green, but it's still in our eye line, which can put pressure on your shot. Just go left and make sure you're not, you're not gonna be long enough to go in that bunker on the left. Okay, if you hit a fade, you're gonna land it nicely next to the pin, but if you hit a draw, we'll start it on the pin so that the bunker is not on our line on the right hand side. And if it draws a little bit to the, to the left, we're fine. And if it uh, goes straight, we're right at the hole. Knock down wedge, how do you do that? Okay. On. That one ran up, perfect. you guys are thinking you think